Show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Bienvenidos, welcome everyone to tonight's Parent Show number six. I want to welcome everyone and I want to welcome our special Miss Lattes. Uh, please introduce yourself, Miss Lattes. Hi, my name is Amanda Lattes. I'm the uh, community liaison at Davis Middle School. Uh, Ms. Lattice is our special connection to all our parents and we really appreciate all the work that she does. And tonight we also have a special guest as well. We have uh, Ms. Godinho who's going to be cooking for us. Uh, Ms. Godinho, if you want to go ahead and introduce yourself real quick. Hey guys, my name is Maria Godinho. I'm Hector Velasquez's mom and I'll be making some costillas de puerco and salsa verde with spicy white rice and refried beans. I'm already, I'm starving already just hearing the recipe. Sounds really oh, am I, am I going to translate Ms. Lattes or will you tra be translating? No, you said you wanted to do it. Okay. Whichever you feel comfortable with. I was trying to throw that back at you. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I, I could do it. Okay. Uh, and of course, and also tonight, I want to welcome another special guest that we have. We have Daisy, and I have to, Daisy, your last name now because it changed. Daisy Velasquez, right? Yes, Osorio Velasquez. All uh, right, all right. <laughs> From UCI, and she's going to be sharing some information, important information for our parents. And we are very grateful for UCI for all the work that you do with all of our schools in Compton. So Thank please uh, share your information for us. Thank you so much. And we're so grateful for all of you. Um, we are, I am Daisy Osorio Velasquez from UCI and we work with Gear Up. So it's a community partnership and we serve um, eight of the middle, eight, five of the middle schools and three of the high schools. So we're super excited and grateful to be here. Daisy, um, you can just slow down a little so Ms. Lattice can also translate for me. Okay, I can translate too, but Ms. Lattice, go for it. <laughs> okay, please, either way you want, yeah. Go ahead, sorry Thanks. to interrupt. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, oh, okay. Hola, yo soy Daisy Osorio Velázquez. Yo trabajo con la Universidad de Irvine. Y yo trabajo con cinco, cinco um, middle schools. Oh my gosh, se me olvidó middle schools. Uh, ¿Secundarias? No, secundarias, secundarias. Secundarias, ok. Y tres um, high schools. Y nosotros hacemos diferentes programas y estamos muy agradecidos para estar aquí. English time. So one of our uh, big events from last year was Girls in STEM. So, so un evento del año pasado que era muy grande fue en niñas en el STEM, que es ciencia, y tecnología, matemáticas, ingeniería. And so we had got a, an amazing opportunity from one of the presentations or one of the neuro, neuroscientists who presented last year for young girls or it's actually open to everybody. So anybody who's interested to participate in the science fair to join them and she would mentor you. Entonces teníamos una, tenía, los llamaron de una de los presentadoras del año pasado que si quieren hacer um, proyectos para lo, la fiesta de ciencia de, en Los Ángeles este año, van a ayudar y van a hacer como um, ayudar a los estudiantes y Puede ser niños o niñas, no importa oh, los great. estudiantes. Puede estar abierto para ustedes. And so I just wanted to come and share that opportunity. Gear up, depending on how many people apply. Gear up is helping um, fund anything that needs to be funded, any supplies, anything that would need to be purchased. We are happy to help. Entonces, no más quería avisar que vamos a, estamos haciendo esta oportunidad. Y si quieren uh, participar, nosotros vamos a ayudar a pagar todo lo que se necesita pagar, como los diferentes uh, materiales o uh, todo lo que necesitan. Si quieren aplicar, voy a poner la, um, la website en el chat y también voy a poner mi número de celular, así me pueden mandar mensaje. So if you want to participate or your child is interested, you can go ahead and I'll put the website in the chat. And I'm also going to put my phone number so you can reach me directly. It's a really amazing opportunity. This new, uh, She's a neuroscientist who is like young and really into STEM. And she's uh, super passionate about serving the community. So I hope you all are really interested in participating. So Sorry, we'll go ahead, Mr. Gonzalez. No, no. So, so what, what, when does it usually happen? At what times would the kids be going to the... The, this this academy so it's all virtual right now because of right. zoom um and it's 
she would be working one-on-one -on -one with you. So it would be one-on-one -on -one help. Oh, she would wow. be mentoring you and um, there's other people also in STEM. So it's not just her that are participating as mentors. Right. Um, they're offering, if you need special supplies, they have like a whole place set up for that. Um, so yeah, so it's, if, uh, in Spanish, I, I can go ahead and say that. Va a ser nomás uno a uno, no va a ser como un clase, van a tener la, toda la atención de la persona y no nomás es ella, también hay otros. Um, otros ingenieros y um, muchos matemáticos y todo eso que van a ayudar también los estudiantes. Entonces es una oportunidad muy bien y también tienen lugares para hacer como diferentes proyectos que pueden abrir, pero todo va a ser por, por Zoom ahorita, por todo lo que está pasando. So, so Daisy, so we would, as teachers, would invite those persons to our class and they would get, they would co-teach with us or they would present the projects to the class. Yeah, that's an awesome question. So it's actually presented to all of all LA. So it's like the Los Angeles Science Fair. Right. So um, for example, if I was a student who is interested, um, and for example, if you were a mentor, we would set up meeting times one on one, go over my project and help you would help me develop it. And then we would present it to all of LA. That's because the kids are working right now for three competitions. And, oh, okay. and I wonder if they could expand on their projects even more and present it to LA now, take it to another level. Yeah. Wow, that, that, would, that would be, be awesome. Yeah. Sorry, I'm getting Let me explain to my parents and parents. So, what Daisy is saying is that the projects that the kids are working now, they could connect with these ladies and then they could present it to the city of Los Angeles, more outside of the school, and receive funds and whatever else they need, right? Resources and whatever else. That's awesome. What, an op what a great opportunity. Thank you, yeah. You're welcome. So just to reiterate, if you want to put, um, I'm going to put the website in the chat. Yes. I'm also going to put my phone number if you are interested and need or need more information. I am more than happy to help. And um, she's also helping me translate the information. So Thanks. I'm more than happy to be of, of any help. Thank you so much, Daisy. Thank you so much. Please put your information in the chat. And uh, thank you. We really appreciate it. Muchas gracias por venir y traer tanta información importante para nuestros padres. Muchas gracias. Tenían preguntas las madres. Alguien tenía preguntas sobre el programa. Did anyone have any questions for Daisy? No. Looks like we're good. Okay. okay. All right. Fantastic. Thank you, Daisy. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. And then uh, just introduce. Our, also, uh, we want to thank of our thank our principal. Uh, Mr. Sullivan, I know he's always quiet in the background. Did you want to say hello, Mr. Sullivan? I think he's, I think he's and Miss Carter as well. <laughs> I am here. Okay. Yes, I want to welcome everyone at the show tonight. Um, I'm super excited. We always have a great time. And uh, one day we're going to have all these recipes written down in a cookbook and we're going to be able to use them, right? Yes. Hey. Excellent. Thank you everyone for coming tonight. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And Ms. Carter, did you have anything to pitch in there before we start? No, I just wanna say, yeah, um, piggyback on what Mr. Sullivan is saying. Thank you to everyone for coming and I've really enjoyed um, the cooking shows and all of the recipes that we get to experience. And we're gonna have one day, we talked about the, the pet show, the virtual pet show, right? right. Ms. Carter, we're gonna, we're gonna throw that one in one day. All right. Hey, I will participate in that one. I have, I have pets for that. Yeah, I know you do, so <laughs> we're looking forward to that. Welcome, welcome, Ms. Perez, welcome, Darlene, welcome. Well, now, without further ado, uh, Miss, I am, I'm, help me out here, Ms. Gladys. No, no. Maria. Maria, Maria, uh, what, uh, let me spot chat you there, and the shows are yours. Hey, guys, so I'm gonna make cosillas de puerco and salsa verde con uh, arroz y frijoles. I'll be making some um, pork ribs and a green salsa, spicy white rice, and beans. So these are my, um, I'm making about four pounds of costillas de puerco. Um, uh, these are the tomatillos, these are about 12 or 13. I left some that I haven't cleaned so you can see how they look. So I just pretty much uh, peel the tomatillo and then wash them. Um, estos son los tomatillos que estoy usando, son como 12 o 13. Les quito la tecate y los lavo. You know, I always saw those in the store. I never knew what they were. 
Yeah, yeah. Roberto Matillo, this is where you make your salsas with. Oh, okay. Yeah, so then you just, um, they're kind of sticky once you remove the, the peel, uh, but you just wash it with warm water and, and then come out pretty uh, smooth. Uh, nomás le quitan la tecata, los, los limpias y uh, ya puedes hacer la salsa. Uh, a mí me gusta picoso, I like my food spicy, so I'm using, what, like 10. <laughs> wow. I'm using 10 uh, green serranos. You could use jalapeno if you don't like it spicy. And you could only do like one or two if, you know, you can't handle it. Um, and I like to mix a little bit of chile de árbol, which I have like four or five that I just like to throw in there. And I just add some water and I put them to boil until they turn, um, so they're soft. Uh, do you call the fire department with all those chilies that you put in there? I, I don't know. No, we're, used to it. we're used to it, yeah. <laughs> well, it all depends on how spicy you want it, right? So it depends on how Yeah, you but I always say if you don't like it spicy, you, you could eat the same amount of tomatillo and just put one chile or two, or change it to like a, like a pasilla, where it's a lot milder. I mean, the flavor might be a little bit different, you know, but uh, it won't be spicy. Or you could use a, one jalapeño and don't use the seed. We love to use the seed, so. Puede cambiarlo, uh, si se le hace muy picoso, pueden usar un pasilla o jalapeño para que no se le haga tan picoso. Um, so this is the costillas de puerco, it's about four pounds. These are the pork ribs. I have them still in the bag because I wanted to show you guys how I clean them. Um, son las costillas, tengo cuatro libras y las tengo todavía en la bolsa para que puedan ver cómo so I just pretty much rip the bag and put warm water and I just like to clean it each individual piece you see this is how it looks the pork bit. I like to cut them in squares if you like them smaller you could do them smaller but right now I just lift them at the size that the meat market size is for me uh, so me gusta lavar la, la carne de puerco individual para que quitarle lo, para limpiarlo bien. Y así lo pongo en la cazuela. Lo lavo uno por uno y lo voy poniendo en la cazuela. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do right now. Just, um, as I'm getting my peppers, my tomatillos, the chile ready to go. Getting my meat ready, start to start um, steaming them first and then frying them. So, lo que tengo los tomatillos cociendo, estoy lavando la carne de puerco para ponerlos a, a cocer poquito y se vienen dorando después, ya que se... Como quien dice, se van cocinando con el vapor, porque no le agrego agua, es el mismo agua que tiene de que los laves. Y así hace que la carne esté más suavecita, no, y no quede dura. So, um, pretty much, the, once you wash the meat, you don't add water, it's just the same water that stays on the meat when you clean it that you're going to use to kind of steam them and then eventually fry them so the meat could stay um, soft and not hard when you want to get ready to be done. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and um, then I'll show you the next, the next. So I'm just right now cleaning the meat and just adding them to my, to my pot. So these are about four pounds. Son cuatro libras de costillas de puerto. So for how many, uh, para cuantas personas is four pounds? Uh, Cuatro, uh, four pounds easily, um, I would say about six or seven people, depends how, we're a Mexican family, so we count as each person counts like two. <laughs> <laughs> so I would say four or five, <laughs> but um, that's just in our side of the family, you know, but um, I would say easily seven, you know. Uh, con cuatro libras pueden comer hasta siete personas, pero también depende de las porciones y cuántas veces se sirva uno, ¿no? Mm -hmm. So, como estos pedazos, these pieces are pretty big. You could pretty much cut them and make them smaller. But just, you know, to make things run smoother and faster, I'm going to just leave it like that. I mean, it's not a big deal. But you could always cut them smaller, uh, just depending how you like it. Okay. Okay, so pretty much um, I already washed all my meat. And then I'll show you. Um, I'll go ahead and wash, wash my hands first before I touch anything else. Ya la carne ya la lavé, me voy a lavar las manos para ya enseñar el proceso que voy a hacer. So, 
this is how the meat I already they're already washed each, each individual piece. So pretty much what I do, I just put it on my stove. Después de lavar la carne lo pongo en la estufa y le pongo Me gusta, me gusta ponerle sal de ajo. I like to add garlic salt, but if you don't have it, just plain salt, it always tastes just as good. I'm just into a habit of using garlic salt. Pueden usar sal de ajo, pero si no tienen, pueden usar no más sal. Va a salir igual de bueno, nomás que ya me acostumbré a usar sal de ajo. Um, and as you know, we don't have exact measurements. We just kind of, as we go, so I'm it's sorry. Like flavor. How many teaspoons or tablespoons? Because I wasn't taught that way. I'm sorry. So um, that, that's the best way. That's the best way to cook by feeling. I like that better. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know. I'll, I'll do like a little confused. But anyways, I um, just added a generous amount of garlic salt, and um, and I just and I just cover it up. Okay. Sorry, I couldn't get my phone to uh to really see, so No, no worries, no worries. I can Did you want me to show it? Okay. On the side? So I just added a generous amount of garlic salt and with the water that I used to clean the meat, you see how there's, there's a little bit of water there? Yeah, yeah hold on, let me let me spotlight real quick. Let okay. me spotlight that part if you want so I can um oh. so, Okay. A poquita agua que se le quedó en la carne um, es suficiente para taparlo y para que se estén cociendo y después de cocerse un poquito lo destapas para luego empezar a dorar. So once it starts steaming, then you could um, start frying the meat. Oh. So I could go back to my tomatillos. If you could see how you see how it's um it's already boiling. I yeah, hold on, hold, hold on a minute, hold on. Let me let me spotlight that part for you, so they can they can uh, see that there. There we go. Oh, there sorry. we go. Okay, I'm oh, wait, I'm oh sorry. wow. Okay. It's almost nervous. Sorry. No, okay. no, you're doing you're doing just fine. It's awesome. At this point, I would turn it off uh, because you don't want it to get to the point where they're like falling, uh, they're falling apart. So I'll turn it off. And okay. By the so basically the, the tomatillos are pretty much done for me to blend so before i do that i'm gonna start working on my rice so everything could be done at the same time so, so i have my my pan i i i, I like that stove that stove mr yeah. lino that stove is awesome I, I could get so much done in such little time, you know? Con ese fogón que tiene especial parece como un Ferrari. El, el, el fogón que tiene esa tipa. So what I'll do is, um, I just put a little bit of oil to the pan. And I'm gonna make, I like my rice spicy. A mí me gusta mi arroz blanco picoso. Voy a poner dos chiles de, de serrano y un pedacito de cebolla. But if you don't like your food spicy, you could use bell pepper or just leave it out. I mean, it's, it's up to you. Or just take the seeds out and or just switch it to, you know, any uh, pepper milli you like, like the green pepper, red pepper, and, and it won't be spicy. Yeah. Yeah, but I like I like my I like my food spicy, so. So I like to cut mine in strips. A mí me gusta cortar mis chiles en rajas y um Hoy, como digo, si no les gusta el arroz blanco picoso, pueden usar bell pepper. Mm. O no usar chile, nomás pura cebolla y, um, y este, y depende cómo, le, cómo, cómo les guste, ¿verdad? So, um, I'm going to move on with this. Um, I know you're better, okay. So, this is pretty much, I have my, um, Mi raja de chile verde en cebolla. Okay. And then um, I'm just gonna add it to. Let me. Just, I'll put the spotlight on there again. Yeah, sorry, the camera just. Oh yeah, yeah. No worries, I got it there. Yeah, I just added to. Okay. My pan. Got it. Me confundo because I can't see the what I'm doing here on the camera. No, no oh. worries. No worries. Okay. 
There you go. Can you guys see? Hold on, hold on. Let me spot. Let me add it again. There we go. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. I like to um, piece a poquito mi cebolla and chile verde. I like to saute my onion and, and my serrano pepper. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's okay so it gets translucent. And um, I don't have measurements, but I'm going to do a bowl of rice. So if it's a cup or two cups or one bowl, I would just use it's a two to one ratio. So if I'm going to use this bowl of rice, I'm going to use two bowls of water. So, depende de la medida que ustedes usen, nosotros no tenemos medidas exactas más que el arroz. Uh, si usan este plato de arroz, van a ser dos platos de agua o una taza de arroz, dos tazas de agua, depende de cómo, uh, lo que vayan a hacer. So, basically, all I do, I just throw it in there. Let me, let me take it back again, okay. I throw it in there and then I, I just saute it a little bit with the onion and so, so this is this is the rice that you're putting in there. Is that what you put in there? What the rice? No, what is that you just put in? There? I missed that. What was that? Oh, sorry, it's rice. My oh, rice. rice. Okay. So yeah, you put in the rice to saute. Okay. So pretty much, um, when you're making white rice, you're not gonna saute it into the golden brown because you want it to stay white. So como va a ser arroz blanco, no más de no agregar el arroz y por eso me gusta ponerle la cebolla y el chile verde primero para que se antes. Y ya de allí le puedes, este, le puedes echar el arroz para que gane el sabor de la cebolla y el chico. So pretty much right here, I'm already, after I already had my water. Ah, so, ok. So voy a echar el agua porque ya la cebolla, si mira ya está transparente, está very good. I could already add my, my water. And so, so again, um, I use uh, the same bowl that I use for the rice. Yes. That's gonna be one of my water measurements. Okay. So I just throw it in there, and I know I need one more. Interesting. There you go. Okay. So that's my that's my measurement for. Um, one, one, one bowl of rice for two bowls of, uh, of water. And um, at this point, you could add whatever you like to your rice. If you like to add vegetables, this is the point that you would add the vegetables. I like my rice with corn, so it could be frozen or it could be um, in the bag. So I didn't have frozen, so I had the canned uh, sweet corn. Um, so this is where, this is what I would use. I like to add corn to my rice. And all I do is uh, mix it up a little bit. And I would add my chicken bouillon, mi consomme. Aquí es donde ya le voy a agregar mi consomme. Again, I have measurements, no tengo medidas. It's kind of just, I would say for that bowl of rice, it's maybe one and a half or two tablespoons. Yeah. Pretty much something like that. But me, honestly, I don't know how to measure. I just kind of know, and as you can see, it's, you know, this is just how. That, this is just how I just know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's kind of funny, so I'm thirsty, but I, don't, I really don't have... I've, I've, I've known people who add the, the, the flavoring like that to the rice. Yeah. Then another thing, another tip. So at this point, you could actually taste the the juice or the water of the rice and know if it's salty or if it needs more chicken bouillon. So I would use a spoon just to taste, to see if I think I need more consomme. And to me, that's, that was just the right amount. And all I do is add a lid to it and then just and leave it on, on high heat until it boils. Now at this point, I have my tortillas at the... I'm sorry that I'm with the phone, but I want to show you how the meat looks and... Yeah, uh, yeah, no, that's good. Hold on, let me put you on spotlight again so I can add it when you're doing that. Yeah. So these are the tortillas, the tortillas. Y ahorita ya se consumió poquito el, el agua. Se consumió poquito el agua y ya no vamos a hacer muy bien para que se dore. I don't need to add oil because the, the meat already has uh, enough fat that will melt enough to, to fry my meat. So I just move it a little bit and then we we'll put the lid back on. Because the heat on my stove is so high, I gotta bring it down a little bit. So I go back to my tomatillo. You see how they're more, more, they're more translucent. Yeah. 
So at this point, I'm gonna give um, I'm gonna give my salsa ready. So, so but, but, but you can eat those. You can eat, eat those tomatillos raw, right? They don't have to be cooked, right? Uh, there's some salsa that you can make that that, that, that could be raw, but normally you have uh, normally you uh, you do boil them. No, but I mean the tomatillos. The tomatillos can be eaten raw, right? Or they only yeah. they can. They, they, and I mean, um, there's certain salsa you could do it, or just like in a salad, if you like the bitterness, because it will be bitter. If oh, because they're bitter. They're bitter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's why my salsa de tomatillo verde, I like to add a little bit of chile de árbol. It kind of takes away from the bitterness. Okay. Por eso, so now to to make my my salsa de, de tomatillo um, I'll just bring it over here because that phone is making me feel weird um okay so this is how how they look. Uh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It. So what I like to do is, um, I like to add uh, two garlics. So me gusta agregarle dos ajos a la licuadora. And me gusta moler los chiles primero. Uh, at this point, I always like to put peppers first because I like to have a chunky salsa. So if I add my tomatillo, it's going to end up being a smooth salsa and I still like to see the texture of the tomatillo. I don't like it to be just smooth consistency. Yeah. Um, a mí me gusta moler primero mi, mis chiles antes de moler mis tomatillos porque a mí me gusta mi salsa que esté um, espesa y me gusta ver la textura de mi del tomatillo. So, primero uh, muelo los chiles y luego muelo... Okay, so let me go back to my rice because like I said, that stove is that beautiful rice. You see how it's, how, how it's boiling on high heat? Like you have a hard boil? Hold on, hold on. Let me add it on there. Let me add it. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. So at this point, I normally don't like to uncover my rice, but so I can show you guys how it looks. At this yeah. point, I'm going to sit down all the way to low and like in 15 minutes, it will be done. Okay. Um, so we're going back to the, the chile. So I have two garlic, all my chile verdes and chile de árbol. Uh, tengo mis chiles, chile de árbol y ajo. And I always like to add my salt to my blender uh, whenever I'm going to blend something. For some reason, I just feel like the salt makes better like that instead of me adding it after. So I'm just adding a little bit of the same water that I boil my peppers. So as you can see, I don't, I don't add that much water. It's just um, a little, I have water like up to here, my two products and just my peppers. Miss Gladys, we found a professional here, Miss Galina. She's a profet. I'm blown away how professional she's running the show. Really <laughs> good. I think it. <laughs> I feel like you've done this show before. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I do a lot of this, but not on camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm blown away. I blended, I, I blended my, my peppers. Yeah. So now I'm gonna add, um, I'm gonna have to go back to the meat because um, I don't want it, I don't want it to burn. Um, you see how it's, uh, you guys can see that? Yes. And I still cover it up because I still want them to steam. Um, because if you can pretty much fry them right just to see me frying them, they're gonna be really rough. They're gonna be really tough and um, hard to eat. So I keep on covering them up so they can steam and get soft, and then eventually I will remove the lid and um, finish frying them. And then once we add the green salsa, they will be really tender. Me gusta continuar tapando las costillas de puerco para que se suavicen. Porque si nomás a ese punto los estás dorando y le agregas la salsa, uh, va a quedar muy dura y difícil de, de comer. Si son, me gusta que quede más fresita. So, going back to my green salsa, sorry. <laughs> I add my, then I just add my, toma, my, my tomatillo. Some of the students want to know the name of the plate again. The name of the plate. Uh, it's uh, pork ribs and a 
what salsa the a green tomatillo salsa with spicy white rice and green fried beans. Okay, I'm gonna put it. So um, so pretty much once I add the tomatillo and blend it, it will literally be two to three seconds because I like it thick. I like the texture. I like to see the tomatillo still, and I'll show you how it will look after I blend it. So cuando muela mi mi tomatillo, van a ser como unos tres a cuatro segundos porque me gusta mi salsa que quede espesa. Perfecto. So at this point, the way this salsa looks, if if, it were, if you're making carne asada or you just need a side of salsa, you could pretty much use it already as a salsa. Wow. But if I'm gonna use it uh, mixed with the tostillas, then I will pour in the tostillas and I might have to add more water. It just depends on the thickness of the top. So at this point of the salsa is the um, ya está lista para combinarlo con una carne asada o un platillo que ya tengan preparado. Pero como lo con mixear con las costillas, um, la mejor me toca agregarle poquita agua. Ahí ya depende cómo te gusta de espeso. If you like it runny, then add more water. If you like it thin, then it'll be, it'll be fine. Um, I'll go back to my rice because it's pretty much kind of done. If you see how it looks. Yeah, that looks nice. It looks so, I mean, I still have to, I normally don't uncover it, but at least you have an idea how it looks. So at this point, I already turned it off and within three to five minutes, it's going to be ready to... I think estamos bien. Todos entienden donde estamos con la cocina. Yeah? But then, okay. So at that, at that point of the rice, like I said, normally once I cover my rice, my family knows not touch that lid and do not remove the lid. Uh, but because of... I want to show you every like the whole process. That's why I'm uncovering and stuff. But normally, once I add the water, I cover it and I just let it go. Okay. Pretty much all that's it. So right now I'm gonna go back to my tortillas. I could smell that I have to move them again. Um, can you guys see how? Uh, hold on a minute. I, lo I gotta look for you again. Uh, there you go. Okay. Can you guys? Are, are you guys able to see it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, you see, I didn't add any oil, but look at the oil that the meat does itself. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. So you didn't add no oil, no leche aceite. I didn't add no oil, but because the pork have, have enough oil. Yeah, um, it, uh, and then you steam on it, it, it gives you the, the oil that you need to, to fry them. Good, so good. I'm gonna go back with it one more time, and then the next time that I would uncover them, I would just leave the lid off and then just finish frying and then I would add my sauce. A ese punto, um, lo voy a tapar una vez más, pero ya para la segunda vez que lo destape, voy a um, seguir dorándolo sin taparlos porque ya quiero que se dore y no se esté cociendo. Ya para mí ya se cocinó lo suficiente yeah. y ya le voy a agregar la salsa. Now, before I forget it, I gotta do three fried beef. <laughs> so, right, normally I, I like, if I have it on hand, I like to use lard. Sometimes I have like when if I made bacon and the leftover bacon piece, I save it like I did here. I have a little bit of that bacon grease uh, saved yeah, from yeah. the last time that I did it. Um, I would use that to fry my beans. Um, but you could use oil or vegetable uh, vegetable lard uh, if you want. Um, so voy a usar esta uh, cuando cómo se dice manteca de la carne de, de tocino. Yeah. Y este para hacer mis para adorar para hacer mi, mis frijoles fritos. So, Miss Corina, let me while we have them, let maybe a good place to, uh, to, for them to ask questions, maybe because yeah. how much how much how much more do you have left to go? How much more do you think? Oh, we're, we're good. Um, the rice is pretty much done. We're, we're I have time to ask the questions. I have to work as we go. Okay, so uh, si tenían preguntas, alguien tiene preguntas. Did anybody have any questions? Uh, I have a question, you guys. Um, hi, everybody. Um, this is Nancy. I missed the first part. Like, what is, um, how do you make the green salsa? What are uh, the, the ingredients salsa, for the green salsa? The green salsa, it was um, for the four pounds of meat that I'm cooking. It was about uh -huh. 13 tomatillos, the green tomatillos with the, with the pecata. Um, I'll show you how it looks. I think I have an extra one. Yes, yes, I know. We're also going to post the recipes. So I did the tomatillo that looks like this. 
So I just you just remove the the tecata or the the what well, I'm sorry the wet uh, the skin of the of the tomatillo, mm -hmm. and I use about seven about seven chiles. Uh, but that's because I like it spicy. If you don't like it, if you don't like it spicy, you could just do two two, two chiles, and it will be a, a mild salsa. Um, so it was pretty much tomatillo. Uh, I used uh, about ten chiles serranos and like three or four chiles de árbol. And plus, we're so, gonna post it on 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 YouTube. Nancy, we're okay, gonna thank it. you. Yeah, and by the way, Ms. Galino, uh, Nancy's been on the show as well. She did uh, some of her flautas, and I'm gonna I'm gonna edit that video and put it out. So you okay, you guys see how he's using a perfect uh, cutting um, a good flauta. Okay. Oh, hold on, hold on, let me hold on, hold on, Ms. Galino. Let me get you. Let me get. Uh, I'm cameraman and host, so I'm I'm doing two at a time. Here we go. All right. And yeah. I didn't add oil, and look at all the oil that's of the same of the same grease that the uh, pork. Uh, yeah, the same pork is cooking uh, it with its own grease. Yeah, you guys, we're going to add a little bit more salsa verde. Um, but before, but before I add my my salsa verde, I will drain some of the grease, and eventually will become this. So in the next time I fry beans, I could use that that grease from my pork. To fry my beans. That's awesome. That is super awesome. I'm gonna start with. Let me let me see if there's any more questions. I get Mal tiene preguntas. Uh, preguntas. Anybody else have any questions? Preguntas. Que va a ser ahorita va a va a este quitar quitarle todo la lo el grease que sobró, verdad? El aceite que la manteca que sobró y guardarla para usarla otra vez. Did Did someone have questions? Yeah, she uh, Miss Lattice, right? Did I, did I, I'm sorry, did I did I answer the question uh, uh, regarding the green salsa? Did she need more information or? Nancy, did you get that the information? So, yes, we're good. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Um. So and uh, this, um, this is so the the bacon fat that I'm gonna use to fry my beans. Okay, and then uh, Miss Lattice, I don't know if you can look up, but Miss G right there. If you see her walking across the screen, Miss Gallardo over there from Bunch. Where? The community liaison from Bunch over there. They say hello to community liaison from uh, Davis. Hello, hello. Ando haciendo que hacer. This is a whole Compton, a whole Compton affair tonight. We have uh, uh, right. schools visiting. That's great. And, and it gets hot enough. Because I like my spicy bean, my I like my beans spicy. So I'm gonna add to serrano. This is totally helpful for you. If you do not like your beans spicy, you could just just fry your beans normal. Or if you like, you know, sweet. You could do bell pepper again, or whatever, whatever pepper you like. At this point, you could, or some people even add onion. I don't add onion, but I've seen people even add onion to the to the grease and then do the beans. Okay. Because I. Um, a este punto, a mí me gustan mis frijoles uh, picosos, voy a usar dos chiles serranos, si no le gusta picoso, puede usar, uh, uh, ¿cómo se dicen? Uh, chiles de campana. Ya, yeah. a mí me gusta tronar mi chile para que no brinque. Oh. <laughs> Los trueno porque el dente starts popping and, you know, so... What is, wait a minute, what is chile de campana? Is that bell pepper? That's a bell pepper. Oh, so you call, oh, you call them chile de campana. We call them ají. We call them ají. We call it chile, we call it chile, chile campana. No, chile campana, okay. So, um, at this point, I have a lot going on in my stove. <laughs> my rice is already done. So, because now I want to add the salsa, you see how perfectly fried they are? Yeah. So, at this point, I, I, I want to save my fat grease. So, I would pour it back in this little container and we'll use it for later in case I need um, in case I need it for something else. Okay. I normally use it for beans. If I have it, I it's not a good No, that's, that's, that's awesome. It's as good with, um, with oil. You have an entire meal set up uh, we're, we're, uh, we're coming in about 15 minutes. Oh, uh, and, um, 
Let me show you. Um, I you. know what's the address. Right? <laughs> I owe me. I both of these earlier today, so this is how they look. Okay. So pretty much, I just put um, a half a pot of water and one bowl of beans. Once the water boils, I um, I add my beans once I clean them. Yeah. And then cover it up, low heat for like 45 minutes. I add salt once they're soft, and then five more minutes, and then they're done. I don't. I think I think simple. It, you don't need so much to have a good a great meal. I don't think you need that much ingredients. I guess just a little bit of love, you know. No, no. I mean this yeah. is super so, awesome. Um, temprano, um, hice mis frijoles, cocí mis frijoles con um, media olla de agua, un plato de frijoles, los lavé y cuando el agua estaba hirviendo, le frijoles y le bajé la lumbre y a los 45 minutos le eché la um, sal, lo tapé 5 minutos y, y la apagué. Um, so this is how the, the meat point, the grease, and you see how it looks compared to the, or the one I used earlier. Okay. So now these are these are my 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 chile serranos already on the on the. Uh, I like to blister them before I add my beans. Can you guys see them? Yes. Okay. So before I do the beans, this is how the ribs look. It doesn't have that much oil anymore. Right. So now I would add my tomatillo salsa. I like to, um, I had lowered the heat so I won't burn it. So now, my mouth is watering, guys. <laughs> no, it's good, it's good. Ours too. <laughs> it looks good. Okay, so you see, um, Right here, the way this looks, it's it's a little thick. But can you guys see the texture of the, the little red pot of the chile diablo? Yeah, yeah, um, a little, little bit. Yeah. The little specks of the chile diablo, you can actually even see the, the tomatillo, the little chunks of the tomatillo on the spoon. Um, this is how I like it, but at this point, it still needs a little bit of water. So what I, I like to rinse left on my blender. Yeah. To add the water that I need for my pot. A este punto le hace falta todavía poquito agua a mi a mis tortillas, pero me gusta lavar mi mi licuadora para quitarle todo lo que le quedó de la salsa para agregárselo a la cazuela. Miss Budillo, what kind of beans do you use? Pinto beans. Okay. Pinto and sometimes I use the Peruvian beans. So right here, this is pretty much, I mean, there's nothing much as to do other than taste of salsa to see if it needs more salt. And if it does, this is where I would add the salt. And pretty much I would cover it up, let it boil, so the meat can get the picture of the salsa. So the meat would still need a little bit more stuff to get done, right? Yes, I, I still give it a little bit more time to kind of still get soft, so then I, I would taste it. Okay. Then all the ingredients are already in, right? Yeah, everything. And they just want to so the meat to get the flavor of the salsa. At this point, we need a little bit of salt, then I'll just add a little bit. Just, just to keep, because I, I want to keep the show in between, like a, in between an hour, so maybe. I'm already done. Yeah, so let's just uh, wrap it and then let me see if there's any more questions for people. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And thank you, thank you. This is so awesome. I mean, you're a natural. Uh, De verdad que una natural, la señora esta noche parece que que ha hecho como 50 mil shows para ahí en cualquier lugar. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
What? Uh, uh, no, we're good. Just that, you know, I try to keep it under an oh. hour or so. Okay, so we're we pretty much uh, done. So I just right now be, before I actually um, before I actually fry my beans, I mean like press my beans. I like for the beans to boil with the lard before I actually fry it. So I'm gonna just wait for a little bit until I get a, a boil. Okay. If you look, if you can see the ribs, they're already boiling. So these are pretty much done. Wow. These are already pretty much done, and then I will move them aside so you guys can see uh how it looks and uh once i fade it but pretty much the rice is done the ribs are done the beans are pretty much done because they're cooked all i have to do yeah. is just and that's it and i would i would plate it so you guys can see how it looks okay. um but ya el arroz, las cosillas ya están, los frijoles ya están cocinados um si estoy esperando para frirlos para que miren cómo se ve um ya ya servido fantastic this is like a yes Super awesome. What an awesome job you did tonight. Yeah. Uh, buen trabajo. Very proud. Yeah. Really impressed with what he, just your natural. I know. And she goes back and forth and gets in Spanish and, and English. Yeah. No trouble. That is awesome because that's hard. I'm sorry? That's, that's hard what you're doing. You're going back and forth. English and Spanish. Well, you know what makes it hard for me is the, the handheld phone because I don't know because all I do is see myself. I, I, it's a small window where I can see the food, so I'm not sure if yeah, I'm even. No, no, it's super awesome. I mean, thank yeah, you. I have to invite so, you back to do it at some more place. <laughs> uh, I would love to. You see, okay, so you see now how it's starting to boil. Hold on, hold on a minute. Let me. I gotta find you again. Uh, where are you? At? Okay, there we go. Okay. See how it's starting to boil? Yes. At this point, I mean, I would, I would actually let it boil more but just for the sake of time i'm gonna just so i'm gonna just um just mash my beans also um sometimes i make my beans with chile de árbol instead of chile serrano it's just not but um either way they're good so I'm gonna just move that and then I could I could be faster on my beans and So what are you doing right? Oh you're mashing them. That's what you're doing, right? I'm sorry? You're mashing them. You're mashing the Yes, mashing oh. the beans. Okay. And, and I like my beans to be um stay thick like a blob, like you know. So I leave them a little bit more watery so when they get cold and then you're gonna serve yourself later. They still have a smooth consistency and not that hard. Ah, okay. So, cuando yo hago mis frijoles, me gusta dejarlos un poquito aguaditos para cuando se sequen y te vuelvas a servir, no quieren como una, a veces pueden quedar como una piedra de duros o, o yeah. seco. Y, um, so, me gusta dejarlos un poquito. <laughs> Was that too rough, Miss Lattice? I see you laughing. <laughs> no, no, that's great. That's great. Okay. No, I know what you mean. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, good. Uh, I forgot where, oh, here we go. I had lost my phone, guys. Oh. You see, this, see this boiling? Yes, I have to bring it because it's so hard. I can't match the beans. Yes. Everyone's saying it looks delicious and that you're doing an awesome job. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Nice. It looks good. Love it. Thank you so much. Now, this with some tortillas hecha a mano de harina or the maíz, they're so good. I, I still can't master that. But, <laughs> Um, well, I haven't really tried, you know, uh, but this will be really good with that, like some homemade. Oh, this is super awesome, super awesome. Well, Ms. Godinez, I want to I wanna kind of start wrapping things up because I always, I try to keep things. So, um, what I'm going to do, I could, I could serve it that way because it's pretty much done. Okay, you want to, so they can see it in the plate? Okay. Yeah, I like, yes, yeah, so you'd like to get an idea of how the plate is. Okay. And then we'll leave it for some couple of questions. And then, uh, Miss. And I'll cover Ms. everything. I'll show you one more time how I live. Now, the beans, I would normally let them, you know, more smoother consistency, but it would, it would work, you know? Uh, a lot of we have, we have one so show. I like them yet, but um, at least you guys have an idea, you know? So, Good. this is how the tortillas de puerto look. Yeah, yeah. This is how the white rice looks. Ooh. 
And then this is how the wheat fragments look. Like I said, um, I still need a little bit more time on the beans, but it's still better. So, um, voy a servir ya plato para que lleguen conmigo. Okay. Oh. And that's you guys' dinner today. I'm serving the plate. Yeah. And that's the dinner for tonight. Wow. So, Ms. Flatus, you know what I'm thinking? We come back, and you said we have a, a show on the 4th, right? Uh, and then, it's on the 4th, yes. And then, do we are we going to have one on the 18th? Is this, is this okay, guys. So, um, I'll sh yeah, flip it. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, so delicious. That looks great. Now I'm hungry. Uh -huh. So, normally, um, I like to... I have one of my favorite cheeses is panela. Uh, yeah, but um, I just got this one, so um, I'll cut it just so you guys can have it. I like to. Um, uh, you yep. could either do a few slices and put them next to the, and just put them like next to the beans. Yeah. Or and some and some just kind of just like to put it on top to become the milk. Wow, wow, that looks, that looks, that looks awesome. And it's pretty much um, the, the white rice, you know, um, like I think you think it's yeah. uh, You just leave out the chile and then the beans also, you know, you guys could just, you could pretty much change it by removing pe uh, the peppers yeah. and then do that, but um, no, no, well, no. I'm sorry, I'm already here, I'm going to have to taste. <laughs> No, no, super, super awesome, super awesome. Thank you so much. You know what? I'm spicy, but I do eat spicy, so. Let me, let me see before we leave. Let me just check and see if anyone had any questions. Any, tenían preguntas o comentario? Anyone had uh, questions or comments? No. No, no. Anyone had uh, qu questions or comments? No. <laughs> All right. So let me see you guys again. I with the, with the phone, you might, you might be able to see it better. Um, uh, okay. Hold on, Miss. Hold on. Let me find it there. Well, okay, here we go. Uh, there we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, no. That looks, that looks super awesome. Everyone's saying it looks delicious. It looks yeah. Delicious. Thank you guys. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, no. That's, that's... The queen of the kitchen? Yeah, yeah. no. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, Hi, yeah. everyone. Can you guys hear me? Yes, this is Maria's sister. I just wanted to give my sister a shout out. You did very good. I know you were super nervous. Um, and I encourage everyone to try her recipe. Like um, the other person said, she is the queen of the kitchen. We always go to her for her recipes. Um, she awesome. is the best cook in the family. So I wow. encourage everyone to try this recipe. Um, it is one of her best recipes. That is super awesome. I love you, sister. You did great. No, you did. Thank you, you did. so much. Uh, it was nice for you to speak up for me. Thank you. No, no, super awesome. So you know what I'm thinking, and Miss Lattice, I don't know because I'd like to see. I want. I'm gonna cook when we come back on December fourth. I'm gonna cook my. Uh, I make a salmon. So I'm gonna make a salmon dish. But I'm thinking maybe we have a volunteer. We can do two before we leave for for the holidays. Not on the 18th because I think that's the last day. But maybe the 11th, if, if I have any volunteers, anyone wants to make a Christmas themed meal for the 11th of December. Any volunteers out there? Voluntarios para cocinar el 11 de diciembre. Yo voy a cocinar el 4, o oh no, el día, el día 3 y uno para el día 10. Yo cocino el 3 y si alguien quiere voluntario el día 10. Any volunteers for the tent to do a, a Christmas themed meal? No? I love, so if, if you don't if you don't have any volunteers and you don't have no one, um I I, I don't mind. Okay, okay. Tengo un poco así calladitos ahora, están calladitos. Yeah, I'll get so much everyone's hungry now. Yeah. You should smell it. It's I'm sure you have a good look. Like 
And, and Ms. Colina, I didn't want to mention to you, but I don't know if she's here or not, but the, the reporter from People Magazine said she might stop by the show, but I don't know if she's here tonight or not. But I didn't want to tell you because I didn't want to get you more nervous or not. So if you're out there, you see if you can... Uh, sure. If she's out here, maybe she can say hello. I'm not sure she's here tonight, but we invited her and she said she might stop by. So she might have stopped by, maybe she's in... Uh, but anyway, I want to thank you so much for for just coming on tonight's show. Uh, this is something that I really love to do. I mentioned before, this is my passion, and uh, because of my nerves or whatever, I, I was, you know, I, it was something that I on campus. So thank you. Uh, Estaba agradeciendo a Mr. González por darme la oportunidad de hacer algo que me gusta, que es mi papá, que es cocinar, pero es algo que yo no hacía en cámara por mis propios nervios o inseguridades, pero me, me gustó. Um, so, I feel like I was all over the place because I was trying to be fast, but... No, 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 thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much for, for being on the show tonight. And then, uh, like I said, there's more shows, so we're definitely going to... We'll continue. Uh, Mr. Let me just uh, give a couple of shout out. Mr. Sullivan, did you want to add any closing? Anything for the closing? Anything you wanted to add for the closing? Nope. Just want to say that it looks great and you did a great job. You are Thanks. such a natural. The way that you even plated it up and you tasted it at the end. You've been watching cooking shows or you've been doing cooking shows? I love cooking shows because I've Every time I see them, I was like, oh, I wish I could do that, but I'm like, oh, there's no way I could do that because of my nerves, you know. I did great, you did great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was a great job, but you should be, you should have your own cooking show, for sure. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That's nice. Thank you. Ms. Carter, did you want to, any closing word before we leave? You guys, I was going to say, oh, thank you, and you did a really good job. I couldn't tell that you were nervous at all. No. Oh, Very but, professional. I, actually but you thank did you. a great job and it looks really really good yes thank yes you. and we want to invite uh the the the, the compton family from bunch thank you for joining us tonight we really appreciate uh bunch middle as well joining us tonight thank you thank you bunch family you're welcome thank you for inviting us and you did an awesome job and what's the address <laughs> <laughs> from Davis, so I'm really close. I'm seven minutes away. I'm on my way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll definitely, we'll definitely be over. Definitely be over. Miss Lattice, did you want to anything? Uh, let me add Miss Lattice there on the spotlight. Anything that you wanted to add before we leave? No, just thank you, Miss Lino. I did an awesome job. It's a buen, excelente trabajo. She was so nervous the night I talked to her, but she's a natural. She did awesome. Very proud of her. No, definitely. And, and and I just want to point out, this, this is what it's all about. Bringing people, everyone together. I really enjoy this. We're like family. I'm hoping that we can continue this. And also keep information for the community. So, Bunch family, you're always welcome to join us uh, and everyone else. Y uh, muchas gracias a todos. Thank you so much, Ms. Plina. You were awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, like Mr. <laughs> Mr. Uh, Sullivan said, you look like a natural. And yeah. definitely we'll have you again. Definitely have you again. So yeah. well, with that, I want to thank everyone for, for coming tonight. And, and uh, we'll see you for the next show. All right. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving. Good night. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.